Hey, what's the deal, y'all? This is your girl, Pony. Pony's Tarot. And I want to tell you, in the last video, it was a baby mama, a baby dad, or even a mother-in-law that you should be cautious about, right? And so, you know, you do have some females that will not know when to go in the room when her man friends come over or think that she can sit there and be in the conversation with a bunch of men. Or, you know, you have some females that will... Uh, dress provocative and keep going back and forth around the house like they're not in the men's business when she's really just trying to get attention she's listening to in the other room so she can know when to bust out you know when she know her man is not comfortable with her because he understand how men are know there's some men that don't know how men are and they could be men they don't know their friends we have sex with their girlfriends and things of this nature, or their brother, their cousin, whoever they are bringing around you, If especially if you're an empress or an emperor, right? The emperor, you know, the man that might, if you're dealing with this female, her emperor, uh, her partner I love, excuse me, they might, you know, flirt with other girls in their face or look at other girls' butts to make them feel insecure, you know? Compare them to people, even, you know, suggest hairstyles and things. This has happened to me. Suggest their girlfriends get, suggest that this girl, sorry, you was dealing with, get hairstyles like their exes or, you know, play the game where try to get them to cook and do things and saying that the other girl didn't do it to get this female to work harder to keep them in their lives. You know, you could be dealing with a female that do not know the games that men play. Yes, I have a channel that talks about personality and mental disorders. That's why I feel like this is my calling because I usually don't stalk or spy on people. I really do my, my business, but I don't look at this as stalking or spying. I honestly look at this as this person purposely kept information from you. Queen of Pentacles out here. Magic. This person purposely kept information from you. Excuse me. And just like you deserve love and you deserve someone to treat you right, you deserve to know what the fuck is going on. And that's, to me, why it's not. You know, some people might look at it like that. Even the cross watchers. I'm really not going to even address that because I don't do negative shit. If they cross watchers, let them be, you know. They're very fucking irrelevant to me. So let's make that the last time. Because your where you sitting and what you feeling... It's royalty, value, purple. You're your Virgo, Taurus energy, Capricorn. You're not playing around. Earth, you ready to make shit happen. We're doing an angel read, but I want to just pull these to get more feelings. You know, whatever situations in nature you're going through, you're taking care of it. With this green, with the new beginning and security. New beginning for your page of pinnacle. Queen of pinnacle and page of pinnacle. You're getting ready for your queen, king of pinnacle. I love it. This is pretty, huh? This is really fucking beautiful. This ain't a power couple. You know, anybody can make money together. This is an example of what a couple should be. Because you're going to go through hard times and you're going to learn that the hard times, remember in that last video, you need to probably communicate or you did shit too, Sagittarius. When you're going through hard things and un misunderstanding and y'all not purposely doing it or y'all learning from it, you are bonding. You burn through bad times, not good. That's why you recognize who was really there for you and your friends and family. That's what make you bond, and it's not them purposely doing it. So this purpose, this you didn't purposely try to put, y'all didn't purposely try to put each other in karma. Y'all didn't purposely um, have a misunderstanding. Y'all was on two different accords, living two different lives, comfortable living. And going to different places till y'all met. Look at my last video. This person was comfortable where they was, settling in poverty mindset until they met you.
So let's get the angels. I did an angel reading, and it was talking about engagement, marriage, and communication. And I just felt like it was the same energy. And that's the day I posted the wrong video of the same video again. So keep an open mind. Your soul mate may different from your usual type. So this person, you probably used to nine to five type guys, but this person might be uh tattoos, don't have tattoos, wear glasses, might be a little smaller, bigger, taller, or shorter. You're not looking for looks really. You're looking for someone with good hygiene. Cause I date ugly people, big people, small. I'm big on accepting people for how they are. Especially if they could be presentable and have a fucking brain. You cannot find that. You're looking for someone that match you so y'all can get the job done. It's not about sex and all this. It's about magic. You know, it's about a new beginning. What situation in your life do you want to hold value to? Y'all both in this earth energy. Ooh, yes, y'all both in the same energy, child. Once again, friend. Yep, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. So what energy are y'all? So these are the signs then. Uh, Scorpio, Capricorn. Somebody's, so Scorpio, Capricorn. And Pisces energy. Are you prepared to have a new beginning in love? That's what this card say. What your person need to do? What situation in your life is bringing you financial wealth and stability? Your person needs to get on that money, honey. Or they on the train. They get it. Remember? Keep an open mind. You got three here. You could say three is that support. Or that angel. I don't think you should count that. So you got your angel here. Telling you. Y'all yeah, really enjoy doing this. I never just looked at tarot. I'm going to say that again. And um, I looked at it for some positive inspect. I thought it was just my horoscope. But then when I looked at the tarot and I looked at it and listened to it, I didn't know it was this much about relationships. So I started studying and I'm already doing something. So I felt like this is like a calling. I was feeling it. So, yeah. These cards are real fun to read. I feel like it's nearly not that complicated like I thought it would be. Playfulness. Recapture your romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Says you could do that easy. You just kid, you're the uh, wild child. You're the fire, core fire. You are the Christian child, Zeus. There's no reason why you shouldn't be able to get back when you know she's going to go your way either way. Snap back. Especially if you're going through a break up, broken heart. There's nothing wrong with that. This could be the one. You already, you already met the romance partner you're seeking. Mm -hmm. You don't have to count the six card on here. This is your angel number. So I know I said that on the last video. Give your re, uh, re relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. God damn it, spirit. Okay. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, confirmation, and um, visualization helps bring you together visual visualization uh look how you're looking you're kind of looking like you want to look away but you're you're looking away but you're looking at the same time stop that because <laughs> your person is looking and look how they're looking <gasps> he's pointing at he's pointing you bring your ass over here you know who you dealing with they don't play with you it's like you know better than to run from me you feel it too stop playing with me 
boo. Oh, and that's enough cards right there. We're going to pull one more. I hope y'all having a good night. I hope if you're having a broken heart, don't ever not feel free to talk to me. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Okay, so this could be where you never, this person, remember they didn't get to know you. So now they're going to get to know you, and it probably, it should feel fresh again. Because y'all didn't get a chance for this person to get to know you, or you didn't give this person a chance because you didn't like the shit they were doing. But either way, you've been doing what you're supposed to. I'm proud of you, and I'll see you later, boo.